Hello everyone and welcome back to Bloodborne. This is episode 2. Last time we started off our adventure in Yarnum, and we're trying to figure out what the hell's going on in terms of us being in some sort of nightmare, but also then we're able to travel back to some sort of dream. Blood transfusions, beasts, and all sorts in this sort of like gothic Victorian era, like almost like 1800 sort of like aesthetic that we're that we're getting into here and I think it's I think it's awesome I think it's I think it's absolutely amazing um, I had a very fun first episode figuring uh, the whole place out um, getting very lost getting very confused and just loving every single step of the way uh, so we're going to proceed after uh, unlocking this lovely little shortcut here um, and we're going to not get not get hit straight off the bat. That's probably a good idea for us to not get our uh, our asses clapped like right right off the bat. So <laughs> we'll we'll continue. Um, but there were new pathways that we opened in um, what's the name of the place that we're in? Central Yarnum. I think there's the bridge that goes down there that we have the opportunity to check out and then I think there was one other direction uh, that we could have t um, looked at as well which is um, towards a point where we kind of we, we drop down on the ground and there's a bunch of rats there's a bunch of rats and I think it's down this way bunch of dogs here and my least favorite thing in video games my favorite thing in life is dogs I love dogs so much I'm a very big dog person probably one of my least favorite things in video games are also dogs they, they're just never represented in the way that I want them to be <laughs> not in the games that I'm playing Resident Evil Silent Hill Dark Souls Bloodborne video game dogs man but you know what's a good dog game? A Dog's Life on PlayStation 2, right? So that's a game of the year contender right there. That's a good dog game. But uh, unfortunately, this game does not let you pet the dogs. It allows uh, you to absolutely murder them. Uh, there's also this woman behind this door that is asking for a safe place. Um, and my hunter's dream thing does not look like or seem like a um, a Firelink Shrine scenario or a Medulla from Dark Souls 2. Like, it does not seem like um, a place where I would gather NPCs and go, hey, go hang out there and uh, chill out and I'll form my little community. Because I think it's like my own dream is what I think is going on there. And then we return to the nightmare. So I think that's how that one's going. So I don't know. We're going to have to try and find her a safe place. I don't think it's our safe place. I don't think they will be one in the same. Um, but if we go down here. There's a dude waiting for me. Use some of these bullets so I'm not maxed out so when I actually find the bullets it actually goes into my inventory we got a lot of uh, those blood shards and I think the blood shards um, help to level up our gear so I'll need to be looking into some blood shards as well I'm just trying to shoot me. it's dark in here it's so cool. I love the movement of the character. Uh, I love the movement. Like when we're locked onto something. Alright, everyone's dropping items today. Uh, loving the movement when you're locked onto something and you do like more of a dash. The movement's very fun. We'll see how many miss inputs I do today. How many times I forget uh, that there isn't a... That left trigger is to shoot uh, my gun. <laughs> and I need to do L1 to do this. Now we can check out over here and we can go down this pathway before we cross the bridge. So I believe those were the two pathways open to us. Oh, that was wrong. To... Oh no, I'm dead. 
Oh, I'm not dead. Wow. How did I not die from that fall? Oh, that's not how we heal. We heal with this one. Right. Yep, again, uh, I've just, like, just remember that my history is we're coming off of the back of playing the Dark Souls trilogy. <laughs> fairly recently too. So if I am going to, by instinct, go to press my square button to use my uh, blood vial, you know, when I think I'm reaching for a, my Estus flask, no, I'm going to be throwing a Molotov cocktail instead of healing. So it's going to take some getting used to. Shoving some blood vials into my leg. Like this. There we go. That's what I need to get used to. That was probably a waste. <laughs> Waste of a cocktail on a dude that dies in two hits, but if I don't practice, I'm not going to get anywhere. Um, but yeah, it's interesting that how this game is, is so familiar, and I was talking about this last episode, so familiar with the type of game that it is, but like the new, like the new type of combat and weapons and you know our inventory is it's all like a very very nice adjustment i am noticing um the unfortunate in this episode i'm noticing it more than i was before the unfortunate lack of that smooth 60 fps because when i'm like scanning environments i'm noting like a little bit of like a little bit of lag not like a little bit of lag but like some some lag movements when i'm like trying to uh go over this side when I'm trying to navigate an environment compared to when I was playing Dark Souls 3 at 1080 60 on my PC it's, uh, a much much smoother experience <laughs> now let me check these birds out Hello. birds How are you? almost fell off um, yeah like something to get, ugh, hello something to get used to is that I can't uh, when I'm holding a torch, I don't press uh, the left trigger to hold it up to illuminate the environment more. It's different than uh, Dark Souls. I just have to hold it and hope for the best and not accidentally shoot my bullets. Because if I press left trigger now, L2, it attacks with the torch instead, which is very cool. Um, Alright, we have a very tall ladder. I think I've... We've, we've done this pathway before. I ran down here and we went up that ladder. And I think that's when we ended up finding... We found an NPC that gave us a gesture. The shake-off cape gesture. That's right. We, that, the NPC was like, here, have this gesture. Shake-off cape. I don't really know what that's about, though. Oh! Giant birds. Oh, another oil urn. That's cool. Hang on, let me. Oh no, I just pressed the wrong button again. Okay, I don't know what this means. I've just done this a second time, except I watched my health disappear this time. Okay, I just did something. So in... you, you press down on the D-pad to navigate your items and your personal effects, right? When you press up, you stamp yourself with something. I just watched my health go down, but I've got like a plus five. And the... I don't know what the plus five is for. Oh, I think I've finally just been able to figure out what the plus five is for. Oh, that's so cool. That makes so much sense. Because I think we do the same animation as a blood vial, and the plus five is near our Quicksilver bullets. And the whole deal... With the Quicksilver Bullets, which I can't even read the lore description because for some reason um, it doesn't show up in an inventory. Which is so strange that the, the inventory um, doesn't show up. Like, it doesn't show up the um, the blood vial and the, and the bullets. But uh, you infuse them with your own blood, right? So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. And I guess I'm going to test this out because I obviously have not noticed last episode when I was doing this, but if I shoot my gun uh, with the left trigger, I guess I'm going to see that plus five turn into a plus four. 
It's good. I love it when it just clicks for me. Last time I was like, no idea what the hell's going on here. Why did I do that, and why can't I do it again? <laughs> so I was like, the plus five is in such a peculiar place. That's like, I love, like, satisfying, satisfying Eureka moments. Because, uh, I, while I did mention last episode, I'm like, we should read through the Bloodborne manual if I get desperate. And I haven't done that yet. Um, I'm fully expecting to with this whole insight thing. Because this was another thing, is something we found is Madman's Knowledge, which we use to gain insight. Um, and I was like, okay, insight? That looks like something that we want but then it says making contact with the eldritch wisdom is a blessing for even if it drives one mad it allows one to serve a grander purpose for posterity so apparently you know it does like you slowly will go mad uh let me look at my handsome face there i love that look at let me read this again level of insight or depth of inhuman knowledge needed to ring special bell but induces frenzy we're gonna we'll, we'll experiment so what i'll what i'll do is we'll use a madman's knowledge um at some point and i'll use a madman's knowledge at some point and see what it's all about and then if I can't figure it out in the same way that I've like looked at like this whole Quicksilver bullet and I'm going, oh that makes sense, um, then we will I will look up the Bloodborne player manual and hopefully there's some stuff in there that explains what insight is all about. <laughs> that would be nice. Uh, now we haven't gone down here yet. We took this ladder up last time, so we'll go down here. See where this leads us. I'm gonna say nowhere good. Oh, I'm glad this isn't poison. That's nice. Oh god, there's a few of them. Oh, there's more than a few of them. Okay, let's try out this theory. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so that doesn't do much damage. So that does like 14 damage. Okay, how much does a standard one do? It does the same amount. What's the point of infusing it with blood? The blood is weak. It is so. Using. The oh, using the blood infused bullets would be good for the beasts then, right? Using it against actual beasts seems like that would be what we'd do. Old hunter's mark. I guess we'll have to test it out when I come across like a beast type enemy. I'll infuse my bullets with my blood and see how much more damage that does. I assume that cost that comes at the cost of my health bar, but not a blood vial itself. We're also still in that uh, we're also still in that like uh, interesting period, by the way, of are there illusory walls in this game, and how are they activated if they are? Is it with the A button, like Dark Souls 2? Because this game came out after Dark Souls 2. But before Dark Souls 3, where the illusory walls can be rolled into or uh, attacked. So that's that's the current... That's where we're currently at in terms of that thought process. It's, uh, it's a journey. <laughs> it's a journey, that's for sure. Um... Yeah, I have a couple of things weighing on my mind from last episode, which is trying to figure out what insight is all about. We've resolved the whole plus five in red text scenario that's confusing me. That's all done now. We're good. Um, obviously, another takeaway, which is try every wall that looks flat so we can then hit it in every sense so we can see how it works um, and then this whole thing about insight so it says like it's a level of insight so I'm I'm actually thinking like is that tied to similar to how like Dark Souls was a soul level oh oh don't peck me oh don't peck me the only problem is uh, Dark Souls to level up was like, you level up with souls and it's a soul level. 
This game has uh, blood echoes. So I was going to, I'm assuming we would be leveling up with some sort of like, because it's all about like this, the whole game, like while we're here is about the whole blood transfusion thing is like why, why are we even here? Like we're an outsider coming to the town of Yarnum and I'm thinking that we'd be leveling up with blood echoes. Because blood echoes really see, like it operates exactly the same as souls. haven't discovered how oh, oh my god stop doing that you just haven't discovered how the level up actually works because I'm like uh, is it like Dark Souls 1 where we level up at a lamp slash bonfire the answer is no we can't do that the lamp just takes us back to the hunter's dream uh, so I'm assuming that there would be a, like an NPC similar to like a firekeeper like Dark Souls 2 and 3 have Oh, that body was already dead. Um, but I also, if so, we have not found out who or what that is. Um, German, I think his, his name was. Uh, I was talking about like a doll and for us to use the doll. Uh, we haven't figured that out yet. So I don't, I don't know, We're, it's a work in progress. Um, there is also another character with a name that starts with G. Um, he is the one that's like coughing by the lamp, but I've forgotten his name. This is the problem with me and names, is I don't remember them unless they're incredibly memorable, you know. Got to press A on all these doors. Like you're gonna be witnessing a lot of blind confusion. As I try and figure out if any. What the fuck? What am I doing? Oh! I actually thought I found one then, but it went into. I accidentally just put myself into a. How did I. How did I accidentally put myself into a sitting pose? See, I, I can't figure out this whole. I can like do like a weird. Oh no, I know how I've done it. Yeah. Because I was pressing the A button on the wall. <laughs> Like, accidentally doing gestures and tricking myself. Jesus. Idiot. Oh! God. Settle down, birds. God, that was, that was much, much smaller than I thought. I thought something huge just dropped down behind me. You'll have to try better than that. Oh, it's a giant rat. Never mind. Okay. Well. See you later, giant rat. I'm going up, I'm going up the ladder. Talk to you later, giant rat. Oh, where's this? Dude, I want binoculars so bad. What if this is the... Is this... This is a different bridge, but where's the original one that I was wanting to walk on? Hang on. Where are we? Uh, that might be the way to go. And then there was the other bridge that had beasts on it last episode. Maybe that just led to a dead end and I just haven't... <gasps> a shortcut lift? Is this a shortcut lift? No, this is going up. Oh no, hang on. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I know where this is. It is a shortcut lift, but it goes up to this area. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gotcha. So this is this bridge. That's what I'm talking about. And we can go up there, and then there's, there's a lower bridge. Okay, so there's two. That one there. This one up here. Oh, which one's the main one? <laughs> that one's got to be the main one. It's the bigger one, and it's up the top, and it goes up into all of that. That's where... We're going to go this way.
Because if we if we want to remember, by the way, is uh, that dude that we spoke to who's coughing in the window told us to go uh, suss out a group. I can't remember their name. I need to read an item that will remind me of what they are called. Do I have anything that will remind me of what they're called? There's something that we have that talks about uh, that talks about this place. I think it's the, is it this the healing church, the healing church. Um, it was like go to the healing church and you might be able to get some answers or some of these. Got exactly what we were saying, but he did direct us in the direction of a healing church. Does this here? Does this? building structure thing here look like this could be a church and then there's a whole bunch more up there for us to check out later because if that's the case then this might be where we have to go right, let me pull the gun out all right all right all right crazy villagers turn it down turn it down a bit all right let's let's, let's let's take a chill pill let's relax Run away, dude! Run away from the giant flaming ball of death! How dare you all survive? How dare you all survive the giant flaming ball of death and then take me with you? Damn it! We attacked, uh, me and that dude with the torch. We were attacking each other at the same time. We had the exact same speed. Rip. I need to go get my blood echoes. Very, I'm, I'm just like, dude. All right, this guy. So central Yarnum, this person. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum, you'll find the cathedral. Oh no, the cathedral ward. Deep That's within right. lies the old main cathedral, said to be the source of blood. I haven't heard of pale blood. That's your best bet. <laughs> okay, so we have something going on with called pale blood. Like we are called pale blood. The cathedral ward is where we're headed. Sorry, not the healing church. <laughs> I was like, I mixed up cathedral and um, church. However, we did just unlock a shortcut, which is very handy. Hello. Oh no. Yep, and I'm going to have that gripe with this game as well, which is such a shame. I gripe with this game being... Uh, I cannot jump with the left thumbstick. It's jumping with circle. <laughs> ah, it is what it is, right? Alright, let's try and keep all those enemies on the bridge. Because there's apparently a giant flaming ball of death. Nice. They didn't pick it up, because usually an enemy's been stealing them. That's, that's nice of them. They left it for me. Alright. Look at that fucking... I just need to keep you guys distracted. Keep you guys distracted. I don't know how long for. How long does it take for the whole... There we go. No, 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 no. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, no. I just thought there was another one. Dude, the dead bodies just keep moving. It's hilarious. It is messing with my mind. I keep thinking that there's a body that's still alive coming for me. Wonderful. Flaming ball. And we've got someone waiting for us. Oh, it's a big boy. Great. I have this I have this problem. I have this problem. That when I am way too excited <laughs> and having such a good time, I ramble forever. And I'm sorry with how much I'm just like flapping my gums and blabbering about this but like my brain is operating at like a million miles an hour and this is just this is so exciting to me so i, <laughs> I do i do apologize I'm very very excited to see and to play this game
<laughs> oh my god. That was almost terrible. Honestly, ragdoll enemies though is my favorite thing. <laughs> I love it just when they ragdoll. Everyone's just dropping me items today, Jesus. Everyone's feeling very generous. Okay, so I was wrong about the whole healing church. That's not what I meant. This might be the cathedral ward then. Uh, like this sort of like lower structure looks like it could be. Well, I thought it could be a church, but we're apparently looking into cathedral. Okay, hold on. Now these are beast beastie boys, right? So that does like eleven. I want to see what happens if we. Do this infusion thing. Okay. Okay, so it does like 10 more. It does more damage. That's cool. And I, I like it. I like it as like a potential like finisher. I was doing it way too early, but like if we need to just like get like a little pot shot in at the end of our like combo or something, I can chuck it in. I'm glad that I have an understanding of infusing my bullets with my blood now. I thought they were already infused. That was the that was the misunderstanding, but I can do it myself. Which is awesome. Well, that's the attracting one, that's good. Cold blood due to attract, use to gain blood echoes. I'm not going to use any of these until I'm absolutely, because we currently have 2,500, and I'm uh, not going to use any until I, um, I, until I know where I stand. Um, I also just, I also just remembered that Bloodborne and Dark Souls are differently. Sorry, I do apologize. I did a Bloodborne, I did a Blood, uh, a Dark Souls stream recently did a Dark Souls stream recently, so I had to put it back in the top corner. Sorry, I didn't even realize. Forgive me, Lord, for I have put my webcam in the wrong place. Don't want to obstruct my, my counters in the corner there. Heisenberg from Resident Evil Village. Ooh! We're in a fucking- we're in a boss fight, boys! Father Gaskion! I don't know how to pronounce your name, sir! But he's going to- he's absolutely going to wreck my shit. He's shooting me and everything! Okay, I need to get the hell out of here. Um, I was not expecting a boss fight. Um, do I have the ability- I don't have- <laughs> I don't have the ability to Homeward Bone out of here, do I? Shit! <laughs> Okay, hang on. I know what I need to do to survive this, uh, but it's going it's not going to be easy. Uh, I need to quickly use one of these. No. 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 <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. I was like, "Okay, how do I get out of here? Quick, use the mark thing. That's like the ring of sacrifice." So I can still have my blood echoes. I was not expecting a fight. Damn it. I was expecting a nice little pop-up to a new area. Okay, doll's awake. Uh, why is the doll awake? And what's this? Consume insight and ring the beckoning bell to enlist the cooperation of hunters from other worlds. Silencing blank 
end such forms of cooperation. A beckoning bell and silencing blank. So is that what insight is for? Insight is just uh, being able to open up the opportunity for cooperation. Great old bell discovered in the underground labyrinth. Its ring resonates across worlds, and the first hunter used it as a special signal to call hunters from other worlds to cross the gap and cooperate. A human must use insight to ring this uncanny bell, but the benefits of cross-world cooperation are many. Okay, so I think insight is the ability to, like, gain the knowledge of cooperation. Hunters are linked by the resonance of bells with special encoded uh, timbers. Tombers? Timbrays. This inaudible burst disrupts such resonance, fire to end cooperation and prevent further cooperation. Firing this does not disrupt the resonance of a sinister bell. Okay. That fight was cool. Uh, so Father uh, Gascion, is how I'm going to say that name, probably butchered that one entirely. Um... I was not expecting a boss fight, but there you go. Um, and he's equipped like us with an axe and a gun, and he just absolutely cleans house with me. <laughs> oh, well, I have a I have a number one now. Where did, when did I get that? Hello, good hunter. I am a doll, here in this dream to look after you. Honorable hunter. Pursue the echoes of blood, and I will channel them into your strength. Mm. You will hunt beasts, and I will be here for you to embolden your sickly spirit. Firekeeper, this game's firekeeper. So the doll is my is my level up NPC. Perfect to channel the blood echoes that I do not have. Great. Did you speak with German? He was a hunter long, long ago, but now serves only to advise them. He is obscure, unseen in the dreaming world. Still, he stays here, in this dream. Such is his purpose. Okay. Ah, the little ones, inhabitants of the dream. They find hunters like yourself, worship and serve them. Speak words they do not. But still, aren't they sweet? Are they sweet? Ah, they speak. Wonderful. Well, when I have some blood echoes. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. I should take this opportunity to use the ones that I have and level up. Consume insight and ring the old hunter bell to enlist the cooperation of old hunters. Old hunter bell. Key item. One of the resonating bells that cross the gaps of worlds, this bell is cracked and stained with the blood of beasts. A human must expend insight. So you expend insight to ring this uncanny bell. The old hunters who have long passed from the dream but cannot forget the feeling of the hunt rely upon messengers to relay their thoughts. Ring the bell at their side and they are certain to give a listen, for the night of the hunt is long and unchanging. Interesting. So that's a key item instead. So insight looks to be related to the cooperation side of things, which makes sense. Does it make sense? No, it doesn't. We have insight into other worlds. There you go. So that's what. So we can use a madman's knowledge to gain insight, and then we can like use a bell to expend said insight. Um, I want to see how much it takes to... We've got to reinforce my weapons as well as level up. So let's see how... Welcome. What is it? Let's see. Use blood echoes to raise stats and level Very up. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. And let's see... Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Oh, wow. That's cool. 
So now, so now we see, uh, now we're going to see how, okay, so 829 to level up. We're going to see how much it takes to level up. Uh, skill levels up my attack of my weapons. Strength does my physical defense. Blood tinge, physical defense. Arcane. Ups my discovery as well. Endurance for stamina, vitality for HP. Alright, I need to just double check what these are for again. So, governing heavy physical weapon attack and nuanced physical weapon attack. Governing power of weapons that use QS bullets and arcane attack. I think I will probably, in that regard would be focusing on leveling up vitality, endurance, skill, and blood tinge, I think might be where mine are, because I think I don't have heavy weapons, I've got the nuanced weapons instead. Oh, actually, no, it levels up both. There you go, but differently. Okay, I'm going to put a point into endurance and a point into vitality. Um... Okay. Farewell, um, good hunt, mate. Didn't mean to press that. Uh, and then I'm going to spend these. So these give me a thousand. It won't let me use multiple. Oh. Wait. It just consumes the whole stack. Cool. Alright, hold on. Before I level up, I'll check my reinforcement at the workshop. Sorry, fortification. I'm going to keep using Dark Souls terms, I'm sorry, for a while until I adjust. Uh, we've been using the Source Cleaver, that's our main one. Oh, that's kind of cheap, so that's fine. Good. And then Hunter Pistol. Looks good to me. Alright, so fortified the pistol once and our saw cleaver twice. Welcome. What is. Very well. Let me. Level up. Oh, I'm gonna level up skill. Farewell, may you. F nice. We finally figured out how to level up. <laughs> So, back to Central Yarnum, um, and we're on our way to our first boss fight. Our first boss fight, that's very exciting. Uh, we're going to try and rush to get our Blood Echoes, and I'm going um, to use that item, <laughs> the Bold Hunter's Mark, so we can awaken a new... Oh no, wait. Wait. Wrong. I don't want to use this yet. I almost just took myself back to the dream. I want to pick up my blood echoes and then use the bold hunter's mark. I almost just like used that ahead of time. Away! Away! Don't mind me. So still yet to decide or you know understand if I am heading in the right direction. I'm certainly heading in a direction, so I guess that's what matters. Oh, buddy, no. You weren't supposed to- yeah, okay, thank you. They're supposed to come after me. I really should send this lift back up, because I have a feeling I'm going to die with this boss fight. Dude's got a goddamn blunderbuss, of course I'm going to lose. He's saying, hey, stop keeping your distance from me, pal. It's like, stop, stop keeping your distance. I'm going to mess with you. Alright, this is unfortunate. I have to do this again. Let's let that ball get lit up. Here we go. Get that out of here. Play the waiting game. Save time. Go for the big boy. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna opt for patience and not try and sprint past everyone because I'll probably end up getting killed if I do that. Oh, you got some punches in you. How did I avoid that? He keeps just repeating the same sound over and over again. He's broken. Assuming this will now be replaced with a fog wall, can I just quietly sneak past these two? Don't disturb the beasts. Alright. Now shall we do this a little more gracefully? A night so it's called nightmare fog. Father Gaskin. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. At least he doesn't have my blood echoes. If a boss picked up my blood echoes, I'd be so mad. Holy shit. Okay, bud. No, hold on. Oh my god, he's insane. Give me a second. Where are you? Sir! I can shoot you too, bud. Holy crap. It's time to get tested. That's so cool, dude. But why? But why does it have to be this way? Oh! How did he hit me? Holy crap, dude. This is so fucking cool! Stop that. But stop it, though. But stop. But stop. Come on. Come on. Don't do that. I need to get out of here. He's, this boy's got moves, man. Like a beastie boy? Do you reckon I can infuse bullets? I don't think. I think he's more. I think he's a hunter. Holy crap! This boy's gonna. This, this man's gonna teach me a goddamn lesson in bloodborne. That's for sure. Where he makes me waste all of my blood vials. Oh! I can do that, but it's not as cool. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, what's that smell? The sweet blood. Yeah, that's my blood, dude. Oh, it sings to me. It's enough to make a man sick. <laughs> I love that he's talking. That's so cool. <laughs> Has he changed his move? He's changed his goddamn move set. He's doing something different. He's trying to stab me. Don't do it, bud. Got a good, I've got a good move. Oops. Got a good move idea. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! I went to. I was too late. I'm such an idiot. I'm concerned. I'm deeply concerned about my own well being here. What are you doing now? Come on, quick, do the thing. No! I no! That's it. I'm all out of goddamn blood vials. Oh, 
Prey slaughter, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Odeon, Odeon Tomb Key. That was the first boss. He just drained me of all of my blood vials. Holy shit. <laughs> I can't feel my legs. I can't feel my legs. Oh my god. I can't feel my legs. <laughs> I just... Prey slaughtered is our is our victory achieved. That's cool. Okay, my insight's gone up to four. Is that my level then? Because I leveled up three times. Oh. Oh. You, you, guys, you guys are gonna have to bear with me. You guys are gonna have to bear with me. Because I'm, I'm a noob. At Bloodborne specifically. So it's gonna take a little bit of time. Um, so I think if my insight is four and I've leveled up three times, then my insight is actually not tied to co-op, but also tied to my level. Makes perfect sense to me. Uh, Odin Tomb Key. Key to the gate that blocks the tomb of Od like Odin? Is what I want to say. Beyond the tomb, Odin Chapel can be found in the center of the Cathedral Ward. There you go. Only today, the church is abandoned, and some say that the residents of Odin have all gone mad. Odon? Odin? There's obviously a correct pronunciation in there somewhere. Um... Odon sounds like not too bad, but probably butchering it. Holy crap, that was a cool boss fight. <laughs> um, so, with all these blood echoes I've got, you know, you'd go, oh yeah, cool, I should, I should probably level up. I'm like, no, I need to goddamn go shopping. I need to go buy some blood vials. God damn it. <laughs> also, I am still adjusting with um, volume in this game and making sure I get my levels all correct so you might experience some little waves of maybe it being a little too loud a little too quiet uh, but I am trying to monitor it as uh, as much as possible uh, to make sure that it's not uh, that it's not too bad for, for all of us involved I don't want to drown out myself and I don't want to drown out the game uh, but we'll just have to see how we go all right blood vials first thing on the menu please um, 180 well, let me buy just 10 to start and then I can acquire more on my journey so if I start with like five or ten I think that's pretty good welcome home good hunter what is it you desire so I just slaughtered my first prey so it was a dude who was like a hunter but he also transformed into a beast very well let me that's so awesome um, what do I do I need out of all of this? This is the thing. Um, I think I want to still have endurance because I want to get my stamina up so I can move. And I, I need more health, dude. I need health. <laughs> I for real need health. So we don't get. Farewell, good hunter. May we don't get a. So we get a key item from bosses. We don't get something that's like their soul or something like that. So that's different. No blood bag or anything. I was like, what if, like, instead of souls, because it's Dark Souls, what if Bloodborne means we get their blood or something? Um, get their old sack of blood and do something about that. But I don't think that's the way either. And we just leveled up. But our... Our insight is at four. I, I, I don't know. It didn't go up to five. I'm going to remain confused about that for a while. Maybe now that we've defeated this boss, I might take this brief moment to have a look through the Bloodborne uh, player manual and see uh, what exactly it is that all of this refers to and how insight goes up and what exactly the circumstances of like spending it because it says you need to expend an insight to use like that old hunter's bell let's take a look okay so there's some there's some good stuff there's some good stuff in here which says some things 
uh, about like the controls and stuff like that. So getting started has like the whole exploring the field. In the controls, by the way, there's this thing called rally. So when my health bar, uh, when I get hit, it's orange briefly. If I attack, I can actually get some health back. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and it also talks about, um, you know, doing the different uh, abilities and it and it mentions the whole thing with like blood infusing your own bullets by pressing up on the d-pad but you lose them upon death or traveling back to the hunter's dream um, and then it tells you about insight so it says insight increases as your character gains knowledge insight increases as the story progresses so the whole insight thing is the insight i guess we have on the story like the world our journey so insight doesn't go up with our level but it can be used in network play or traded for items uh, so that's cool so our insight will go up as we progress through the game. So there is my there is my answer on insight uh, and a couple of other things. So this is just the official um, the official guide to refer to if I have some questions, which I think is completely fair enough, as uh, I would prefer not to run around like a headless chicken when trying to figure out a new game's mechanics. It's really easy to, when I've been playing the Dark Souls trilogy, and you know. From the first Dark Souls game, I was running around like a headless chicken, being like, I have no idea what the hell's going on, trying to figure everything out. Um, but then, you know, Dark Souls 2, you're like, cool, I know what most of this stuff means. Anything new is pretty familiar with the framework of the game. And then Dark Souls 3 is uh, even more so. Uh, but now we're in a completely new setting with completely new lore, completely new world. And I need to now be my headless chicken self again and, uh, and figure that all out. Uh, but luckily... Luckily, we figured it out. So we got figured it out by reading the manual. <laughs> so we can now proceed uh, back to uh, tomb. So we'll, that was at the tomb of um, tomb of Odin. Travel back there. So we have the key to that tomb now, which does go to the middle of the Cathedral of the Deep. So I believe this is actually where we're supposed to be going. So that does actually make me kind of want to... Um, go back onto that other bridge that was up there but not I'm not sure yet because that might take us into that might take us into another area that I'm not uh, that I'm not ready for so um, we'll just we'll just have to we'll just have to see how that goes but there we go we'll just close the the manual so I no longer need to refer to it for now exhilarating boss fight which just brought me super close to the brink uh, of death getting caught on on headstones but that's fun so this is going to be I, I i'm very excited to see how this game is going to put me on my toes um because i've tried for a different play style uh in every dark souls game uh a different build on how i've approached the gameplay and now going into bloodborne that's like a whole other different thing uh i don't even have the option of a shield uh if i wanted one um that actually kind of makes me glad that i was doing a great sword build uh and two-handing for most of it um so i've got a lot of dodge practice in which is great uh the only problem with that is yeah there's just like I have a gun which is, the gun is so interesting to me and the fact that bosses can also be using this stuff against me um is it's super fascinating. So I'm I'm very excited. I'm so excited. Do you notice that this statue uh, looks like it's almost in the exact same pose of um, those slug-looking NPCs in in Dark Souls Three in the Cathedral of the Deep? That are like they're like the sluggy-looking ones that are wielding the staff. It looks like they're it's almost like the exact same pose. We're also in a, cath a cathedral type area. Are they are they linked? Link confirmed. Actually, I've got a torch. What am I doing? Um, where I could... Why would there be a note here? Ah, oh, I know exactly what this note is going to say too. <laughs> oh no. That note did not live up to my expectations. Hmm. I thought it was going to say fatty. The Dark Souls community have, uh, have impressed me because they've gone, let's leave the immaturity behind. <laughs> let's put it back in Dark Souls. This is Bloodborne. Everything's grim and serious and disgusting. 
but I, I fully expect there to be some messages in this game that are going to be very immature, as always. I'm not reading them though, because I don't want stuff to be revealed ahead of time. Again, that's a that's a big regret that I have from my first playthrough of uh, of Dark Souls. In Dark Souls One, we read uh, pretty much every message that we found uh, to a fault, really, to the end of it, because I would I took so many of them seriously and got so confused, um, and a lot of them would give away things in that were like just ahead of me, and that's that's a regret, and that's the that's the. I don't know, it's it's a really conflicting thing about doing a blind playthrough, but also playing it online where the whole point of like a lot a big point of the game is doing that jolly cooperation with uh, like people leave messages and like they help each other out to make their way through the game. That's like part of the experience, but then at the same time, uh, it's conflicting when you're doing a series about it. So I have slight regrets of how much how many messages I read. Maybe not me reading messages, um, you know in general, but like how many messages that I read. Could have toned that down a bit, and then for Dark Souls 2, I toned it down incredibly, and then for Dark Souls 3, we played offline. So this is gonna, we, like, we've, we've kind of gotten in a rhythm at that, at this point in time. Now we picked up a brooch. Bright red brooch, used to gain a droplet blood gem. A woman's bright red brooch engraved with the name Viola. Perhaps the jewel is a gift from a hunter, used to change into a droplet blood gem that fortifies any weapon. With the proper workshop tool, various weapons can be fortified. Interesting. Okay. So we... And there's our tomb key. So we've got a brooch that, um... ...to... ...stuff for fortification, which is really cool. Let me read this key again. So, beyond the tomb, the Odon Chapel can be found in the center of the Cathedral Ward. So, we are going the direction that we're supposed to be going, as per that NPC in the window said for us to go here to find answers. About us having, like, we're afflicted with pale blood? I am excited to also get answers. I really want to know what the hell's going on. Oh yeah, and something interesting that this game has is this. Like, you can inspect, like, we found one of these last episode on a shelf. You can inspect notes. The Bergenworth spider hides all manner of rituals and keeps our lost master from us. A terrible shame. It makes my head shudder uncontrollably. The Bergenworth spider. I almost wish that when we read these files, they got like added to a part, like a section that we could like read or refer to later. Oh no. Oh no. Does Bloodborne have mimics? <laughs> Does Bloodborne have mimics? I don't know. Do they have teeth? Are they going to be generous with the first chest that we've encountered in the game? Um, being not a mimic. Hope that there's no mimics in this game. It looks like a proper actual chest. Like what you'd expect out of a chest. Blood gem workshop tool. I like the look of it. Oh, here we go. It enables fortification of weapons with blood gems. A misplaced workshop tool from the hunter's dream. The hunter who retrieves this can fortify weapons by kneading blood gems into them. Blood gems add properties to weapons when used to fortify them as blood defines an organism. So we crack open a red jeweled brooch and then we can fortify a weapon with the gem that we get out of it. So next time we go back to our dream, I'm going to have to see what that's all about. Hello?
siege reward. Here we are. I was going, are you kidding me? We're going into another boss fight? <laughs> I was like, another one? Right away? Oh, hello. Someone there. Ooh. Hmm? Oh, you must be a hunter. Very sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These hunts have everyone all locked up inside. Waiting for it to end. It always does. Always has, you know. Since forever. But it won't end nicely. Not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going bad. The screams of women folk. The stench of blood. The snarls of beasts. None of them's too uncommon now. Yarnum's done for, tell ya. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. A safe space. Take the word. Tell them to come on over. If you wouldn't mind. <laughs> I mean, am I right to trust a stranger who looks like this? That this is a safe space? I mean, look. Where, when else is someone going to say, Hey, if you've ever found someone who's looking for a safe space, this is the spot. We have to. So we'll tell them that we found a safe space finally. Instead of them yelling at us when we tell them no. I know I shouldn't be asking you, but if you happen upon someone while hunting, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. If they see you being told, that is. Oh, and I do sincerely hope they are. <laughs> I know I, if you happen upon someone while hunting, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. Erden Chapel. And I'll do. Erden Chapel? That's an inter such an interesting pronunciation. I'm going Odin Chapel. But it was all in the accent too. Erden Chapel. Alright, let's return to the Hunter's Dream. So we have to go back to the Dream to then be able to travel to a new location. We can't travel from lamp to lamp in the world. Where's my doll at? Where's my doll at? Hello, where are you? Oh, German's back. What's up? Where is... Oh, oh. She's tending to a grave. Dude, in the first episode I was asking about the significance of this grave, because look at it. Because it's like, surrounded by flowers. I mean, there's flowers everywhere, but like this one in particular, just like... Alright, we'll talk to you in a bit. Let's talk to German. My oh man, where'd you go? The moon is close. It will be a long hunt tonight. If the beasts loom large and threaten to crush your spirits, seek a holy chalice, as every hunter before you has. A holy chalice will reveal the tomb of the gods where hunters partake in communion. Let's partake in communion with a holy chalice. Most of the holy chalices lie deep within the tomb of the gods, and the few that found their way to the surface were lost again in the hands of men. But if the old hunter tales remain true. One of the holy chalices is worshipped in the Valley Hamlet. Yeah. Yet the town is in disarray. It was burned and abandoned for fear of the scourge. Home now only to beasts. The perfect place for a hunter, wouldn't you say? One of the holy chalices. Valley Hamlet. Attack. Blood gem fortifications. Let's have a look. Fortify weapons using blood gems. Blood gems imbue weapons with special characteristics. Uh, saw cleaver. Oh, so I already have one. So I've got a tempering blood gemstone, which gives me physical attack 
by 1.1%. Okay. Now it looks like I can put three. Uh, behind my head looks like there's three slots. Let me bust open this brooch. Smack for a red blood gem. Where is it? Okay. Red blood gem. Okay. What does... Okay, so there's a rating. Healing church, blood gem, rarity. The rarer the gem, the more potent it is. And then the shape. Shape of a blood gem must match weapon in order to fuse. Oh, so there's a radial and a droplet. And this one gives me physical attack 2.7 and boosts rally potential by 1.8. So they're tiny, but they're cool. Okay. I like it. I can fuck with it. Blood gem fortification. And I can use this one. Cool. Let's do this. So you press OK. And then I return. Oh, that's so cool. You don't have to commit. Oh, that's good. You don't have to, like, commit. One of my, like, biggest pet peeves in, like, games is when you're... And I can see why they do it, but you get, like, crystals or gems. And you have to... You can attach it to a weapon, and that's it. Or you have to pay a fee to get it off. Um, or stuff like that. Um, looks like we can just equip them at will. Love it. So my hunter pistol cannot have any, but my saw cleaver can have this. Fuck with that. Uh, can I repair stuff at this current point in time? Oh, durability is fine. Love it. Okay, so blood gem fortification. That's a cool time. Welcome home, good. What is it you just... So she just moves sometimes. Do, what do we what do we call you? Very well, let What do we call you? What is your name? Surely you're not just I am a doll. Surely you're something more. Over time, countless hunters have visited this dream. The graves here stand in their memory. Ah. It all seems so long ago now. What's your name? Over time, the great it all. St Farewell, good. May you find. Gonna call her Dolly until further notice. Affectionately now referred to as Dolly. Love it. Okay, so we made it to the cathedral ward. But I do want to check this top bridge section so we can tell this woman behind the door that we found a safe space and that we can also, I also want to cross this bridge and see what that's about. So I need to, yeah, I know where she is. I know where she is. Okay, so if I just run through here. I'm glad you can just get blood vials off of uh, off of enemies. Too. So if you ever just like don't want to spend the blood echoes, you can try and get them off enemies. It's just in man kills guy in wheelchair. He does he does have murderous intent though. In that man in the wheelchair, so. There's dogs. There's dogs. Oh, we can almost one hit the dogs. That'll be a dream come true. Things I would never say in real life. I just, I just have never even tempted fate to see if they'll break out. I've just always been like, no, nah, I don't trust it. This door. Hello. Now, what is it now? I have much better ways to pass the time. Unless you found me a nice, safe place. I have, actually. Tell of o um, Aiden Chapel, 
or withhold information. We will tell her about the chapel. This feels like we're supposed to do this. Well, what do you know? An outsider worth a lick of salt. Well, don't just stand there. Don't you have work to do? Go slit some throats. Get this mess done with. Alright, you got anything nice to say? Maybe you give me a reward or something for my time? Oh, enough with you. Trot along. Chop, chop. Uh, rude. Okay, fine. Uh, Alright, we've told her. Now I need to go... On the bridge. Which is... Here. Oh no, that's where we fall. I have to go around. Okay. So, we go around. How do we get up there again? Oh, I'm, I'm going to be scratching my head about this. Uh, how do we get up there again? Hang on. Stairs. Oh no. Yes. Yes. Stairs? Okay. Now. We haven't been down here yet, so I want to make sure that we can check this spot out before we proceed through the Cathedral Ward. Uh, I might do just a bit of a cheeky one here. Uh, take one of those. And then take one of those. There we go. I was hoping that the oil urn might have covered the whole group, but that I'll accept that. I'll accept that. Covered in blood. I'll accept it. I don't know, man. I've got a thing with, like, walking on bridges and expecting to <laughs> get absolutely get my shit rocked by, like, a boss. They're just like, oh, an unassuming bridge? What if I just dropped in off a dragon's back? Oh my god. I'm not even surprised. Cleric Beast. I was, I was literally gonna... I was making a Nameless King reference, but... Uh, apparently... We're going up against a cleric beast. Jesus, look at that arm. This man's been stuck inside for too long. Ooh. Oh, so that's my chance for rallying to get health back. I missed my opportunity. You're a bit tough, actually. Oh, I see how it works. I see. Oh, that's actually, that's really risky behavior. That's... Oh no, I've got a torch. Why do I have my torch equipped and not my gun? Shit. You've caught me off guard, sir. doing what have you just done damage resistance there. Oh yeah, this is yeah, this is not good. <laughs> Shooting the gun is like a definite last resort thing. Ah, the 
camera on this bridge, dude. It's so th How did I not take damage then? I actually love the whole rally thing, that's awesome. I am soaked in blood. Holy crap. Oh. Chill. Ooh. <laughs> Hunter badge. I am covered in blood, dude. Oh, it's raining blood! <laughs> Slayer intensifies. <laughs> like it's literally raining blood. What the fuck? Sword hunter badge. Oh my god. This is so metal. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm wearing my glasses today. Cause I'm covered in blood. Oh my dear lord. Okay. So we could have actually fought that boss uh, last episode. We almost fought that boss last time by coming down this bridge and going, eh, no, we won't do that. I would have been getting uh, my ass kicked because we wouldn't have even leveled up. <laughs> and we'd just been like, yes, cleric beast. So that actually worked out for the best for me, I think. Is this a door I can interact with and have the notes just screwed me? It doesn't have a toggle action, so I don't think so. I'm going to say this is going to say pointless. It's the scourge of inquisitiveness, eventually time for ratings. <laughs> no mercy for man-beasts. I guess that was the boss that we just defeated. That is not a chest I can interact with. Okay, was this just a... this was just a boss fight. It doesn't go anywhere. I was fully expecting to go into a new area, but there you go. It looks like this would be a door that we would knock on. Should have taken that boss out last time, I guess. There you go. Oh, glad we revisited here before going way too far ahead into the Cathedral Ward, because I was like, if we were able to go here ages ago, so I have a feeling we should be able to check out this place now. So my insight has gone up by four. Insight has gone up by four. Ooh. There's another one. You got a, you got a thing for me. <laughs> Hang on. Have you got... You've got new stuff. Ooh. <laughs> You've got new stuff for me. Eating pistol. Alright, hold on. Before I go into this, can I... Are you offering me something? Or is this, like, supposed to signify new items, I guess? Uh, let's read what we got from... The recent boss. One of the badges crafted by the Healing Church. The silver sword is a symbol of a church hunter. Ludwig was the first of many healing church hunters to come, many of whom were clerics, as it was clerics transformed into the most hideous beasts. Hatchers would probably agree with that. He'd consider all of the clerics hideous beasts. <laughs> okay, we have more stuff now. Antidote. Small medicinal tablets that counteract poison, used to treat ashen blood, the baffling sickness that ravaged old Yarnum long ago. These tablets only provide short-term relief. The ashen blood ailment eventually triggered the spread of the beastly scourge. So it counteracts poison. Lovely. A small portable lantern. This hunting accessory provides light while leaving both hands free to hold weapons. The torch, however, provides a stronger source of light. Um, the torch does prove stronger 
That's cool. I might get that hand lantern. Hunter Chief Emblem. Key to the gate. Uh, key to the gate to the Grand Cathedral's round plaza for 10,000 blood echoes. A cloth emblem that belonged to the captain of the church hunters long ago opens the main gate that leads to the round plaza of the Great Cathedral. The main gate is shut tight on nights of the hunt and could only be opened from the other side with this emblem. In other words, the captain's return and this emblem determined the end of the hunt. So if we take this to the main gate of the round plaza of the Great Cathedral, this signifies the end of the hunt, apparently. A Kirkhammer. A trick weapon typically used by healing church hunters. On the one side, an easily handled silver sword. On the other, a giant obtuse stone weapon characterized by a blunt strike and extreme force of impact. Trick hunter weapons forged in the healing church workshop, said to be hidden somewhere in the Grand Cathedral, were made at the tenets of a rival school of craftsmanship. So it's a trick weapon that has one side it's a silver sword, and the other side it's a giant stone weapon. I need 16 strength, so I'm not going to be wielding that anytime soon. I don't even have the skills to wield a repeating pistol, which looks awesome. Look at that! Oh, that's so cool. Repeating pistol, typically used by healing church hunters. Uh, crafted with mostly metal parts and exhibiting a complex design, the repeating pistol fires two shots at once, making it a ravenous consumer of quicksilver bullets. Should be used sparingly compared to its workshop counterpart as the trump card in one's arsenal, so like a final shot. That's cool. Love it. Alright, let's, uh... Let's level up. Where's Dolly? Dolly, you out here? Yeah. Hi. Welcome home, good hunter. What is I it? I like you? her voice. Very well. Let me. Um. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. I need to get some points. I need to put these points up so I can wield other weapons. We'll focus more. We're, we're gonna focus more on the. What's it called? What is it? What does it refer to them as? The nuanced physical weapons than the heavy ones. But our skill is our highest one at the moment, so I'm going to put a point into blood tinge and a point into. Actually, I think we did need one more strength to wield the repeating pistol. So we'll chuck one in. Love it. Over time, the great old. Where does German? <gasps> There's a whole pathway here. God damn it! That that blends in with the uh, that blends in with the. <laughs> damn it! That's so obvious that there's a pathway there. Really, just totally overlooked that. So this is where German's been chilling out. Rip. I probably missed some dialogue of his then. Stump messenger. I probably missed some dialogue of his then when he was chilling out here. This stump appears linked to the nightmare, but there are no messengers. Oh no, we missed no dialogue. He just goes he's here to have a nap. <laughs> I'm assuming that he just comes here to look at the really surreal view of this place and just have a, has a nap. Let me wake him up, though. Nope, he's just having a nap. He's a bit of a Siegwood. Bit of a Siegwood. Just having a Sieg bro. Having a nap. Cool. Well, we found that spot where there is a stump. There is there is indeed a stump. <laughs> oh. Cell. Not much. I wonder if it's even worth selling my original gear. I'm going to save up another thousand blood echoes so I can buy that lantern. I reckon. Back to the cathedral ward. Let's see if this woman is there now. Glad that we went back to a couple of like those areas just to check them again. Always very, always very rewarding to go back with a second, second, 
second look. Something that I've actually noticed about how I play these games um, upon like, you know, reviewing my older playthroughs of Dark Souls and stuff is sometimes I'll walk through an area the first time, see a bunch of stuff, miss some other things, um, and then when I come back later, the thing that I missed, I see it like instantly and it's so dumb. <laughs> like uh, in, in Dark Souls 3 there's a whole, there's like, there's multiple instances of that happening but one of the in like the final episode there's one where that happens like with a doorway that was like right there because it was right next to the doorway I walked out of and it's just like as soon as I walk in there the second time I visit I'm like oh look at that I missed that <laughs> so um just have to try and improve upon that pretty unfortunate part of my uh exploration is seeing things immediately or never seeing it at all until I revisit later. <laughs> hey, have you got a friend here now? Ah, oh, the hunter. Thank you. So that old girl, you told her about this place, right? Well, she don't offer me much in the way of conversation, but still, I'd rather see her alive anyhow. Triumph. Cool. If you find any sane survivors, well, send them a lot no herd and chapel, will ya? <laughs> I don't necessarily trust it. If you find it, send <laughs> uh, So Erden Chapel is where we bring survivors. All right, where is well, she's here somewhere? Um, let's. let's. Maybe we can switch joy with triumph instead. What does triumph look like? Ah, uh, that looks lame. Doesn't really look like a triumph to me. Um, you know what looks like a triumph? This. Yes. I like joy, that's cool. Alright, where are you? Oh, is this you? Oh, you're certainly an old lady. Got the little bonnet on and everything. Oh no. I haven't forgotten. But do you think I owe you something? <laughs> well, that's a fine lark, I'd say. This old mess that Yarnum's in is all your fault. Dupidity outsiders. Blood's ruined, tainted by your ilk. Don't you come near me. I know your type. Um, you're gonna make me regret saving you? I'll burn you with this torch. You, I know. What the fuck? Well, she certainly doesn't offer much in the way of conversation. That's so rude. Alright, that door's closed. All right, so we've got a pathway out there and a pathway out here. I wonder if that, um, actually, we're at, we've made it to this cathedral now. So hold on. Um, I want to make sure. It's a shame we can't travel to other lamps from here. So we have to do a bit, we have to use the dream as a middleman. But maybe it looks like, uh, what I was just going to say is it looks like characters do move about. So I don't know if their dialogue will change. Welcome. What is over time? It all. I'll keep checking just to make sure. All right, German's still having a nap then. So they, it looks like Dolly and German uh, rotate between two locations. Um, all right, cool. So I want to go to Central Yarnum because we made it to the Cathedral Ward. So I'm, I'm going to talk to. His name started with a G. Gerbert. German, and then something starts with a G, um, who's by this window coughing. I'll see if he has any to, anything to say now that we've made it to Cathedral Ward. Ah, <laughs> oh, you needn't concern yourself with me. I'm afraid I'm of little help now. But before I take this, Flame sprayer. I make no use of it, but perhaps you. <coughs> what afflicted me was incurable, but this time gave me hope. Their strange blood bought me time. I was most fortunate, unharmed by the plague of beasts. I can even die human. 
I guess that's, you know, that's all you can ever hope for in a situation like this where everyone's turning into beasts for him to die retaining his humanity. Um, cool. Mental note is when we find NPCs, check back in on them again. We should go all the way back to the beginning then. That chick who's at the clinic? I might check in with her. The one that gave me... Uh, Ios Ioska's. Ioska's blood vial. We should check in with Ioska then, as well. We'll see if she's got anything more to say. <coughs> so he's going to be okay, but he just... Get, well, not okay, he's going to die. <laughs> but he said, don't worry. Uh, oh, it's a... Okay, flame sprayer. A special weapon used by certain members of the Healing Church spits searing flames by using blood-imbued quicksilver bullets as a special medium. Not the most efficient weapon by any stretch, but sometimes a sea of flame is just what the doctor ordered. Besides, the beasts of Yarnum can always use a good cleansing. Literal flamethrower. I love this. This is like some weird sort of steampunky gothic Victorian mashup, and I'm here for it. So good. So it's literally just a fire attack weapon. Uh, let me see what this is all about. So it uses... Oh. <laughs> That's so cool! And it uses Quicksilver Bullets. That's actually awesome. Alright, well, I'll probably equip that alongside my pistol when I get my lantern, so I can take my torch off. But... Uh, that sounds good to me. I like that a lot. Um, I'm not really f using Saw Spear as much, because it is weaker than what I've got right now. That's really the only reason why. It gives me more range, because it's a bit longer, but at the same time, like, I'm going to use the weapon that is much stronger. I think it's much better to just use one at a time. Focus on one at a time, I should say. Um... And now from here, I think there's another lantern that we can go back to. That's a bit earlier. Uh, the first floor sick room. So I, I want to check this doorway to see if ioska has got anything else to say as well. So if I've learned anything from how obscure Dark Souls 3's, Dark Souls 3's NPCs are, is uh, they are very intricately detailed sometimes with how to do stuff, and doing stuff with one usually affects the others in either negative or positive ways. Oh, well, hello. Splendid. Let me ask you a small kindness. You're soon off to hunt, I presume? Then... If you find any survivors, tell them to seek Yusefka's clinic. Oh no! Upon my Hippocratic oath, if they are yet human, I will look after them. Perhaps even cure them. This sickness, these beasts, they are not to be feared. This time the night is long. I may be trapped here, but I should do something to help. I'll even offer a reward for your cooperation. Tempted? Well, off you go then. Why did I not think that Ioska's clear? I've completely forgot about this place until I was just like, ooh, previous NPCs, who we got? This person and Ioska. And why did I not think that this would be a safe place? Instead, we go into the cathedral ward with a creepy dude who goes hey, 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 if you've got any survivors bring them to me <laughs> idiot i mean the old lady was not very nice so perhaps maybe she'll maybe she'll fit in at the cathedral ward but if i find anyone else and uh, and also this other dude that we just spoke to might need to come here i think i trust ioska more she seems nice she gave me a blood vial and she seems nice i'm like i would trust ioska over random, clothed, undead-looking-ass man. If you find anyone who's still human, send them straight to Yusefka's clinic. Rip. You can assure them there's no place safer. Please, do me this service. And then she goes, Hey, whatever you do, don't send anyone to the cathedral ward. Alright, Yoska, we're going to now 
Oh my god. I'm so dumb! How did I not remember the clinic and think that that would be the safest place? It is what it is. That's what the old lady gets for being rude. But, let's go to Central Yarnum and talk to this dude, because he said he's going to die. But he's still a human. We could send him to Ioska's clinic. I, am I right? Uh, don't you worry about me. <laughs> No, but, but dude. Ioska's clinic, you could get cured. Uh. Hmm. Okay, so he is not included in this whole thing, but that old woman. <laughs> that old woman is, oh man, that is, uh, that's a, that's just an unfortunate set of circumstances there for me to go back and tell her about the first place that I find, because I'm like, oh, we have to do this because this is a safe space. Instant, instant regret. Instant regret. <laughs> oh, well, what can you do? Um, but we are now, I'm now going to sit uh, and think about my choices that I have made uh, in the Cathedral Ward, and I will be bringing this episode of Bloodborne to a close. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Bloodborne, where we took on uh, Father Gascon, butchered pronunciation, and um, what is what was it, Cleric Beast? This is why I wish that we had like souls of the enemies or something, so I can remember what their names are, so I don't forget them. I do apologize, but we took on two bosses this episode. There's two more than last time, <laughs> and uh, explored some new areas. And I'm getting much more familiar with the controls and how this game plays, which is super lovely to be learning about this on the fly. I do apologize to uh, any. Um, yelling at the screen that you have had to put up with, you know, yourself by being like, there's a pathway there, there's a thing there. It's, it's the magic of a blind playthrough. And it's, and isn't it just so magical? The innocence of missing obvious things and doing things incorrectly. But uh, as always, I'm having such a pleasant time. I hope you guys are enjoying these first couple of episodes so far in the playthrough. And I will see you in the next episode of Bloodborne.